next race, Russian Grand Prix. From the track point of view, Russian is quite a difficult and uh, typical circuit where you've got very long straights, long corners, very high speed corners, but you've got as well very high speed braking, low traction and very, let me say, left, right hand side corners. It's a very quiet uh, variegate circuits where a lot of a lot of typology of corner straights, long and short are, are present. As you can see on the on the map here, in fact, that very long corner, turn number three, is one of the very atypical corners of the of the season because it is very long and very high elevate lateral accelerations. From the power unit point of view, Russia is one of the circuits where power is very important. But probably even more than the power is the entire power unit and energy management which is important because somehow you need to optimize between the long straights, high accelerations, corners, mixed part of the circuit and finally to optimize the best lap time you need to really optimize what is the energy management between the internal combustion engine and the ERS system. As well in terms of race management, again optimizing acceleration for overtaking the line of the drivers can be very different here in Russia and you have quite a lot of opportunities of overtaking and therefore it's quite again important to manage correctly the way you, you accelerate the car by using maybe different strategies in the race compared to qualifying in hybrid and power unit energy management. Fuel consumption is another difficult point of Russia. Since we have been there two years ago, we immediately realized that 100 kg of fuel capacity for the entire race is quite restrictive. And in fact, you need somehow to save and manage the fuel in the best way during the race and to optimize finally the race distance. From the engine point of view as well, the very long corner, the number three that we've seen with a very high acceleration may be difficult from the lubrication point of view. The oil pump may not pick up the oil in the oil tank because of the centrifuge and the lateral acceleration, which somehow may affect the entire oil pressure and the oil system. 